All right, so here's a quick tutorial on how to work with arrays inside of make.com and basically extract what's inside of the array and convert it into a single variable or into a single string. So for example, in my use case, I'm trying to extract a couple different uh, URLs that I'm getting from a form. So my form, um, well, yeah, in my form, if I go to the fields, you can see business card photo, it's an, an array, and there's two collections, right? And these are two images, basically, and these are all the, all the variables that are associated with it. I wanna grab this, the URL for both of these images. So there's two different collections, in other words, two images within one array. I wanna grab just the URLs, but I wanna grab them for both of them, because I wanna feed that into a PDF.code module to convert, or sorry, to combine both of those images into one PDF file. So I need both the URLs. So in order to do this without needing iterators or any other stupid complicated things, you can just use built-in uh, functions from make.com. A little tricky, but I figured it out and it makes sense now. So what you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to use two different um, functions. The first one is called join, which essentially just concatenates all the items of an array into a string using the specified separator between each item. So the function is called join. And what essentially it means is it's just combining different aspects of an, an array, one array into one string and you specify how you want them to be separated as in the values from the array, how you want it to be separated based on what you put. And in my case, I'm using a comma, which you can see right here. And then we're going to use the map and the map is very important because this allows us to extract a specific part of an array. So if you can see the example here, it's the, it has map and it's uh, trying to map out emails, an array of emails. And it's specific, it's specifically asking, excuse me, uh, for the email. That's what it wants to extract. And it'll return a primitive array with emails. And if you want to extract that plus the label, and then it includes what the labels are here, work, comma, home, it'll extract the email plus the label with work and home. So that's a little bit how it works. It's not the best explanation there, but um, that's kind of how it works. But anyways, so again, I was trying to extract the URL from both collections within a single array. So I'm going to use the join to first and foremost nest everything into one string and I'm separating it, the values that I'm going to extract by a comma right here. And then I'm going to use the map within the join so that I'm specifically extracting only what I want to extract, which in this case is the URL. So if you look here on the right hand side, this is the data that I'm working with. So I went up the fields, business card photo. This is an, an array and you can notice that by the two um, brackets. Open that up. And we've got all these objects here to work with. So I want the URL, right? But again, this is only showing me the URL or the data for one of the objects. I want both of them. I want the URL from both of the objects. So I utilize the join to combine all of the data from the array into a single thing. And then I'm going to specifically map out only the URL. And so we're going to put the um, the main array as the source, right? And we, right after the map, right after the map and before the semicolon. And then we're going to specify URL. Then this is really important. You are not supposed to use like, I, I can't make a mistake of actually clicking the object, right? Dynamically inputting it. And that does not work. What you need to do is actually just plain text map, uh, type out exactly what it is you want. So if I wanted the size, for example, I would literally just write out size, just match this text, right? So obviously I don't want size, I want URL. So I'm gonna type out URL, hit save, and I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Cool. And the output is as follows. It is exactly what I wanted. It is a string, a single string of two URLs separated by the separator that I uh, specify, which is a comma, and you'll find it right here. So if you look closely right there, the first URL ends, the second one begins, and there's a comma in between, because that's specifically the format that I need uh, for PDF.co, but granted, you can use this in any way that you need, but that's essentially how it works, um, trying to extract specific data from an array and combining it into a single new object, and in my case, specifically mapping a specific part of the object into the new object, the new variable. That's how it works, utilizing the join and mapping functions within make.com. Thanks for watching, and God bless.